Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. When we left off last time, we'd gone back to our dorm room looking for Warren's flash drive, but it's not there. Dana left us a little sticky note saying that she'd borrowed it. So we've stepped out into the hall now, and it, there sounds like there's a fight involving Dana down the hall, so let's see what's going on. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Answer, you wuss. Ugh. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. More ridiculous. Uh, what's up, Juliet? Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Oh. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? I'm just being nice. You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Oh, I knew this. Um, Patson. Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Back we go. How far do we need to get? Is that good? Okay. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. Hi, Juliet. I've locked. So stupid. Hmm. Juliet Watson, you, you be nice. Ridiculous. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Mm, well, how do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Hmm. Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. Probably. Leave me alone, Max. Yeah. Get a clue. Alright, Victoria's room. Down the hall, across from ours. Oops, wrong button. Alright, here we go. Ooh, and it's conveniently open. Well... Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Really? I so bet Victoria on. put Juliet on her shit list after this article. The Blackwell Totem, the spirit of the news since 1898. Is the Vortex Club a cult? One of Blackwell Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new wave of rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Reagan era. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic, then, that the re revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult. Or is this just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop this story from publication. Continued on next page, which we can't access. Okay, we're looking for some sort of proof, then. What's she done to this poster? Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Wow, that's pretty evil. I mean, if someone's missing, even if you don't like them, why would you deface a missing poster? That's kind of horrible. Alright, what else we got here? Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Uh, so are you, Max. All of your stuff is all about how awesome he is. 
Sounds like maybe a little jealousy. International photographer Mark Jefferson. Local exhibition at the Bean Hip Cafe, huh? All right, we need to... Yes, Victoria has the best retina... Well, let's look at her laptop. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Victoria Meribeth Chase. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sext from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass believed me, and so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Oh, and, and the title of the email. Bitch down. Yikes. Okay, um, well, how are we going to print this then? Oh, just like that, I suppose. We should probably... I'm worried that as soon as we grab it, she's going to come busting in here and we'll be in trouble. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I... Oh, cut that Ouch. off. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Dear Ms. Chase, thank you for your submission to the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future endeavors. Hmm. All right, back to the cameras. What else was Max going to say? She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Oh, just jealousy. Okay. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Speaking of selfies... We're not going to mess up her selfies. Leave them be. Now, we do want to go ahead and get that email. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. All right, let's get out of here. Now then, Juliet... Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. Well, why wouldn't you I talk to your dinner. friend about it? Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. How'd she immediately know that's what we're here for? Well, let's go in and get it. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Oh, is she on the swim team? talk to her while we're right hey, here. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. I can't believe the doors lock from the outside. That seems like a terrible plan in a dorm room. Let's see. Well, Victoria isn't nice, but... That was a huge overreaction by Juliet. Why wouldn't... Dana's her friend. Why wouldn't she just talk through with her and get Dana's version of events before freaking out on her? Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry, too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Okay, what else have we got in here? And is she going to be upset if we're looking at everything in her room? It would be a cool sticker without the words. Oh, Vortex. 
again. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I passed out. Passed out or pussed out? I'm not sure. If you need any money, let me know. Logan. Hmm. Okay. And it looks like we can look at her laptop, which is kind of weird. Ooh, cause... Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. I hope this action doesn't have consequences. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. 1,083. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. It is. Let's get out of there. There's that damn flash drive. Well, scoop it up. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. It wasn't that big a deal, Max. Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. I think only if you make it dramatic. All right, look at the journal. All right, from the beginning. Da -da -da -da. So he wanted the flash drive. See you shortly. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. Okay. What else we got in here? Okay, so that's just the journal. Oh my gosh, and we've got pictures about everyone too, huh? Alright. I do want to go through all of this, but I think we'll wait a little bit, because... There's a ton of them to look at. And what's this? Various pictures, I guess? Huh. And these are places? Oh, and all kinds of things we've seen, I suppose. All right, one from Mom we haven't seen yet. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. And that was on September 21st. Then on October, Max, your principal sent me an email saying you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? Oh, no. The principal said this was a serious false charge, and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call in the ASAP so we can talk about this, Mom. That piece of crap didn't believe us. Well, we'll just see what comes of that. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt that he would be a good principal, but now it's sounding like not. All right. Oh, our mean girls this shit? disappeared right out of there. Hey! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Okay. Run over here and what, catch it? This shit. Ow! That hurt. Okay, that's not the way to do it. So, who do I want to get to? This guy or? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I don't want to interview you, weirdo. Fuck this shit. Okay, do I just catch it? Or, Warner, there Alyssa, we go. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. <laughs> By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. <laughs> thanks, Victoria, for, for the message. <laughs> Max, that was awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. All right, well, we've made some progress with her, though. 
Can we bother this guy now? Watch what you're doing, dummy. You almost hit someone with a football. Get lost, hipster. No. Nope. I'm not doing any interviews. Fine then. I've got better things to do. All right, over this way to the main campus. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? What's this about? No, and leave me alone. Ooh, photo gives us evidence. Maybe I should have intervened. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Alright, let's go ask her what that was all about. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. We should have. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Yeah, let's do. Alright. Because now I feel kind of bad about it. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Yeah, but so will Kate. Maybe this way we can get oh, some Max, answers out of her. Oh, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Well, wait. Anytime, Kate. What was that all about? Uh, we'll have to catch up with her later. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Mmm, so no matter what choice you make, she's going to suggest rewinding. Um, no, I think it's better. I think it's probably better to intervene. Well, I don't know. It's really hard to say, because at this point, we don't know what we're intervening in. I don't know. I feel better with that choice. It looks like an adult threatening a young lady. Adult male who works there, position of somewhat authority, just threatening a student. I don't know. And maybe it was justified. Maybe she'd done something she shouldn't have. But it seems like if there really is a problem, then there'd be proper channels. Shouldn't he go to the principal and they would all have like a proper sit down or something? All right, time to find Warren. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Then why didn't you step in for Daniel before in the hallway? You just walked by. All right, what do we got here? I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. So, I better go oh, there the soon whale to diner. see if Joyce is still there. Two whales and or something like that it was. Cars Good thing I don't have huh? a car. Yet. Who toilet papers a bike? Hmm. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Well, yeah, they really want to find her. I don't know, it doesn't seem that strange to me. Max seems all surprised that there's these signs everywhere. Well, yeah, a person's missing. That's serious. Oh, there's a squirrel over there. So, who owns a rust bucket and can't park it properly? Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Oh, hey. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. Well, let's back up then, and let sleeping dogs lie. Who's got this gigantic RV here? What's the story with this thing? You don't find this at all odd, Max? Yet another poster. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. 
come on over here. Please. I will. Just hold tight, Warren. Things going on. Oh, every car. Not every car, but a lot of the cars have these posters on them, it looks like. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Uh-oh. Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Oh. Well, still, this was good, though. There's no it's... way I can walk to the town from here. Besides, I need to see Warren. We offered her a bit of sympathy. It's it's the way to head towards uh, getting a friend. Let's see. He's got... Ha ha ha. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. All right. I think we've seen everything else there is to see. Yo, Max. Check it out. Other than this sign. She's probably going to say something similar to what she said Too all bad along. those posters will be trashed and ignored. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. Man, He's a brave man. All right, what is and it, there's Warren? Warren? Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Oh, he went Check for the hug, and wheels. she. Cool. <laughs> Very old school. Although she doesn't want the hug, to be exact. Then. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh, just sixty miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. <laughs> really? Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Yeah. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. It's not a contest. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. All right. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Um, sure. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha mm. ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Well, vampires aren't really cool when they're sensitive. Vampires are supposed to be terrifying monsters. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Well, there's a lot going on. Um, sure, let's talk. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. The spike Dr. Warren destroy Graham his is in the house. Us. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. For reals. Don't insult me. Max, go on. 
I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Uh-oh. You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. No. Answer me, I told bitch. him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. Well, you did. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Psycho. Mm, let's see. No, we're gonna we're gonna be tough for ourselves. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents. Not the principal. That. Or that whore right in the now. bathroom. <gasps> Ooh, what's going on here? Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! No, you don't. We gotta hey, help him. Max? We're not running away from this. Get no! Your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's me! Nobody! That was so crappy. We just abandoned Warren. What was that about? Ah, and also, how did she not recognize that it was Chloe before in the bathroom? I mean, she didn't look like the picture we saw of Chloe, but she recognized her here. Oh, I'm gonna have to take some time to digest all of this. I'm gonna go ahead and wind the episode down here. As always, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. Hopefully, it looks like there was an officer or a campus security or something running up at the end. So hopefully, someone's intervening for, for poor Warren. Um, now we've got Psycho Nathan gonna try to kill us, but. Maybe we can talk to Chloe and explain the situation to her, get her on our side. We'll see how it goes.